Unless you recently won the lottery, chances are you could use some help paying for college. You're not alone. More than two-thirds of students receive some sort of aid, such as free scholarships and federal grants, loans you promise to pay back, or work-study awards where you earn money working part-time. The government does not decide who gets what dollars. It collects your financial data via a form called FAFSA verifies it and determines the amount of money your family is expected to contribute towards the cost of your education. Each school then awards aid by calculating the cost of the school minus the expected family contribution. The result is your financial need for that particular college. Say the cost of going to your school is twenty thousand dollars and your expected contribution is eight thousand. This means your financial need for the college is twelve thousand dollars. Each school will try to meet your need as closely as it can. This is why you will likely receive different aid packages from different schools. Unfortunately, there's no magic fairy who compiles all the information the government and colleges need from you. But don't sweat it, really. All you need to do is complete the free application for student aid form, known as FAFSA. Then, pay attention to what else your school needs from you, like a school-specific financial aid application. The FAFSA asks financial questions, which can sometimes be worded in confusing jargon. Because of this, make it a priority to complete the FAFSA online. The online form offers a question-by-question built-in help guide. Just click on the Help button if you need more explanation. You can fill out the FAFSA anytime between January 1st and the end of June. And the sooner you fill it out, the better, as most schools award financial aid on a first-come, first-served basis. And before you begin, make sure you have all the necessary documents in front of you. You'll need W-2 forms, Social Security numbers, tax returns, bank statements, and investment records. The application should take about one hour to complete, but don't rush through it. Read each question carefully and double-check your answers. Taking your time here can save you a lot of pain and aggravation later. For example, when FAFSA refers to you and your in the question, it's referring to the student. So, when FAFSA asks for your Social Security number, it wants the student's number, not the parent's number, even though the parent is probably the one filling out the form. Putting in the wrong Social Security number is one of the most common mistakes and a difficult one to get straightened out. Make sure you use legal names as they appear on the Social Security card. Names and numbers need to match what's on file with the Social Security Administration and the IRS, as well as with documents you sent to your school. You might find these other tips helpful. If the answer to a question is zero, write in zero. Don't leave it blank. It's okay to estimate your taxes or use last year's information as long as you go back and update the information later. Estimating enables you to file the form early, when more financial aid dollars are available. When calculating assets, do not calculate the value of your primary residence or the value of retirement accounts, such as 401ks and IRAs. If you answer no to work study and student loan questions, you won't be eligible for these awards. Always answer yes. You can always decline them later. Count the student and any siblings attending an undergraduate program as people in the household attending college. Don't count either parent, even if one is going to school. When parents are divorced or separated, the one with whom the student lives is responsible for completing the FAFSA. And this may or may not be the parent with legal custody or the parent who claims the student as a deduction. And finally, make sure you sign and date the application. Take a moment to pat yourself on the back and smile when you're done. Then, make sure you know what else your school requires and by what date. If you have any questions, contact the school's financial aid officers. They're there to help you. And most of all, don't worry. Millions of people have survived this process and you will too.